Do the terms velocity and quantum limits and shivers up your spine, bringing back painful memories of those high school physics days? Well, in tonight's Innovate 8, Alicia Summers profiles a local program that's making physics fun while inspiring our next generation of innovators. Yeah. Whoa, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, the spinning. This is physics class for Albert Einstein Academy's seventh graders, SoCal style. Beach Physics is the brainchild of Diana Cowern, coordinator at UC San Diego's Center for Astrophysics and Space Sciences and associate professor Adam Bergasser. Everybody thinks the beach is fun. And we think physics is fun. And when you look around the beach, there's an amazing amount of physics going on. The beach, Cowern says, is a physics-rich environment, the perfect location to teach middle and high school students concepts like buoyancy, ballistic motion, and more. The ultimate goal is to change the idea of what physics is, spark some curiosity in students, get them asking questions about the world around them. Do you guys know what the solid is? What it's made of? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Awesome. Yeah. It's freezing my spoon. We will be doing some dry ice experiments yeah. so they'll learn what sublimation is. Do you guys know that there's a solar eclipse happening right now? Well, they're going to be looking at the solar eclipse. Yeah. You can look at the sun only with those. Don't look at the sun without the glasses. Oh, that looks really cool. Isn't that crazy? Learning about the solar eclipse right now, that was awesome. When I see a kid go, wow. Wow. That is cool. It makes me excited. It, I see myself as a kid. The first problem introduced by the old Big Bang Theory was called the Horizon Problem. Passionate about physics since childhood, Cowern, an MIT graduate, launched her own YouTube channel, Physics Girl, to recruit youngsters, especially girls, into the field. The numbers, the statistics have shown that we are missing out on a lot of that population of women who are not incapable of doing science and math. Um, they're just somewhere along the way losing interest. <laughs> if we don't encourage women to be in the sciences, we're missing out on half of the population that could contribute to research. It's cool to learn about like science and uh, what you can do with science. There we go. Beach Physics is prepping girls and boys for STEM careers of the future. Some of the fastest growing industries are in the STEM fields. The earlier students are exposed to hands-on science education, the better off they become uh, in college and in future careers. It feels a little cooler. It feels a little cooler. Creating the momentum to catapult our future innovators. What do you think is happening? Alicia Summers, CBS News 8. <laughs> That is fun physics. Beach Physics offers lessons to schools and students countywide. To learn more, just go to our website, cbs8.com, and click on the hot button.